Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel again. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a dubstep growl that's kind of inspired by like Skrillex and Virtual Rat. So, how to make one of these? Uh, if I quickly open up my thing here. Oops. Um... Let's get rid of all this post processing. Can't speak today. And let's focus just on the preset so far. So, all of that is just to make it louder. I'll leave the FXP in the description definitely for this one. Um, so, how I made this is we've got the Monster 4 and Reese Mess 4. These are both. In the spectral in the default um, serum wavetables uh, you can get these and how I started was let me turn everything off here Whoop. so how I started was this So if you're wondering how that's mapped up to anything, it's not mapped up to any of these LFOs. It was originally mapped up to this one. It's now been mapped to the macro one. So, uh, and then I'm just automating my macro one here. So we are, as you can see, moving this wavetable about. Ignore the pitching effect. Um, we've got this, um, what do you call it? pitch shifter thingy um pitch band we're doing a bit of pitch band so that's what that extra like thing is there uh we're also so what this is doing here is it's going through this wave table uh and then i added uh, the filter And we're just adding some drive and um, cut off. You can see everything that's highlighted in blue. That is what is um, connected to this macro. And then we've got a noise. And then we've lastly got this extra oscillator. So as you can tell, we're already kind of there. Um, next what I did is I added distortion and I added, uh, what did I add next after that? I added this EQ and this compressor. Uh, I've turned the compressor onto, um, multiband mode and I've just mucked about with the settings till I liked it. Um, after that, uh, you can add things like phasers flangers hyper uh and then i'll get to this in a second and then you can add the delay and reverb that's only if you want those so what everything's mapped up to on here is the distortions mix is on 50 and the drive is being um Automated. Uh, I'll just say automated because it's all going to this and just being automated anyway. Um, the filter, which is on pre, is being automated. And then uh, that's it for that. The hyper on the mix is being automated and the unison is set to 3. And the detune is set to 28. Um... And then the mix on the dimension is being automated just a bit. And it, the hyper dimension is, or the size even, is on 7. And then the flanger is de default flanger. Flanger, flanger, same thing. Um, the mix is being automated 
the phaser is being mucked about a bit. The rate's been automated and it's been hard set to 50. Uh, and I think I turned the feedback down as well. Um, the EQ, we're getting all, the, all these vowels, some extra vowel sounds out of this EQ. <laughs> So I've just set the Q and the gain to what I'd like. And then we're just automating the frequency of both peaks here. Um, we've got this delay, which isn't adding too much. It's just adding an extra little bit of like phasey sound in the background. It's very quiet. You can't tell if I turn that on and off, I don't think. Yeah. Uh, this is just adding some room to it, and then this is just compressing the crap out of it. Uh, we've got the molly band. Um, it's on molly band. The threshold has been put back to oh, oops, um, minus eight point nine. The ratio has been turned up to limit. Um, this is the attack has been turned to forty seven. Release to. 103, uh, 103 and the gain has not been moved this is like the finishing touch so what this is doing is it's on all passes which is in misc in here and it's the drive's been turned up, this is default, this is default, this is default, and this is default. And the cutoff is this, like, being all made around this area, because this is where all the, all passes goodness is, I, th I, I would say. <laughs> and that gives it an extra bit of tonality, and like, like, warping sounds to it. <laughs> then on the post-processing, I think that's everything on here. Yes, on the post-processing, we've got an EQ. We've got Le Funk, which is basically just on top of gravy, and it's been turned up a slight bit. Um, and the mix is at 100, and it's been turned up a slight bit, just to give it an extra bit of, like, gluey, lasery noise. Uh, OTT, I've just turned the time up all the way, uh, saturator, EQ, and that's it. If you're wondering what this is over here, is I've just mapped everything in uh, C-Room that I want, and then put it onto here. I might release maybe not <laughs> this rack probably won't go out it might go on to the uh black cloud collective store if you know what that is but uh i'll have to ask about that um but yeah i'm just attaching everything from serum um so i've attached this to this and then that goes to there then these two, uh, where are they? I think it's these two. Yes, these two, which is just this here, goes to here. Um, so when you turn it all the way down, it's 12. Uh, let me quickly, oh, that's fine. Um, so when you turn it all the way down, it'll be at 12. If you turn it all the way up, it'll be at 24. Um, the stereo wiser, just a stereo wiser, stereo -izer. There we go. It just turns the unison all the way down. It's at one on both of them, so it's more mono. And then if you turn it all the way up, it's at two on both of them. Uh, so you get this really stereo. You can hear that. Um, and then this pitch band, uh, 63 is zero on the pitch band. I can't really change it to say any other number. I don't know why. <laughs> Uh, someone, if no one, so, so, if someone knows how to do that in the comments, please tell me. Um, but yeah, that's all that is, and yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and.
um, hope your Skrillex and Virtual Riot growls sound amazing. Bye.